Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel. If you are a creative professional or a 3D artist or a visual effects artist or anyone working in 3D animation and visual effects industry, you definitely need a good computer in your hand. But since you know that our in our job, we sometimes we need to switch from different companies and these companies are not in same cities. So sometimes you need to switch from Mumbai to Delhi or maybe uh, Delhi to Bangalore or Bangalore to Pune because all over India, everywhere, the studios are there. But not even in India, if you are going outside abroad in any country, then it's very hard for you to take your computer with you. So that's why we need a solid computer which can handle all of our daily basis work and also uh, which can uh, not be a like an average or slow computing power laptop or computer right so uh, then we should have something in our hand that can handle all this thing so i'm using my laptop from last eight years and i want to give you a review of that laptop that how that this, uh, this laptop is working from last eight years okay so here is my laptop and uh, i purchased in 2011 this is hp elite book mobile workstation as you can see here this is a uh, mobile workstation and uh, the configuration for this laptop is basically uh, i7 processor and uh, 8 gb of ram and a quadro 4000 m graphic card one terabyte ssd and also one terabyte ssd and still there is one more slot available where i can put another hard, hard drive in this it also include one uh, dvd writer and uh, so far the screen for this is 17.3 inches which is very good so since uh, when we are working in our uh, applications like uh, Maya and uh, other application, as you can see here, this screen is quite big and the keyboard is come up with like a full number keyboard also with that. So overall, this laptop also comes with many different different ports. So you don't need any dongles. So here you can see that it's already have a LAN port, a digital uh, display port and uh, USB 3 ports and mini display port also this laptop comes with the uh, vga so you can actually plug if and if you have any vga uh, monitor that you can also plug and also you can see there there is a two usb3 port here and uh, also there is a headphone jack and mic jack so with that all the all the ports are fully ready so you no need to worry about anything and these days i see that there are many laptops they are coming with the uh, without LAN, which is actually not good because sometimes Wi-Fi is not that much speed. If you're working in inside a network, your files is actually existing in the file server, then it's very slow to access. But this laptop or HP mobile workstation are actually comes with a LAN port of a speed of one Gbps. So with that, you can access your files pretty fast and uh, you can directly work inside a network or in a domain environment okay another thing that i want to tell you about this laptop i i brought this laptop for initially for my fx related work and initially i worked for houdini and uh, real flow simulation in this and i did not see any any lag any problem working with the, this laptop and uh, so far let me just put this here and also it's very heavy so it's uh, around 3.4 kilograms of weight of this laptop so you can't actually it's uh, it's not so portable so it you can treat this as a desktop uh, level uh, computer but that is actually portable enough to actually move you within different uh, cities or countries right so the type of work which i did in this laptop is uh, i did uh, very heavy simulations of maya heavy simulations in real flow uh, and Houdini and even rendering compositing. I open multiple Maya. I did not see any issue with that, any lagging, any slowness in this. And even for uh, uh, HD renders or maybe high quality renders I did in this laptop. Uh, so far, uh, the overall performance of this laptop is still is very good. One more thing that I want to tell you about this laptop is I started my channel in year 2014 and that time actually that laptop was the only uh, device that in my hand and even still now I have only this laptop right now. So in my YouTube channel, I created every single video on my this laptop HP Elite Book, 
right so you can see that uh, in my tutorials i use i used to start uh, multiple virtual machines and uh, do coding uh, on on those uh, virtual machines and uh, also like i created full video series of uh, uh, houdini simulations like how you can create a hallway flood to uh, hallway flood tutorial that you can watch previously and also you can see my stories and demos which i created using this laptop so now the recommendation for this laptop again is uh, yes if you are a 3d artist you can go you can go with this laptop because average laptop will not support all kind of work which you are doing in real time and also if you are a game developer you can go with this because all types of uh, rendering engines and uh, the gaming engines they are actually looking for heavy graphic card and also a uh, decent amount of cpu users so with this mobile workstation you can actually get that but this is the first generation of this laptop and uh, now now these days actually i i, I feel like uh, my daily workflow is not uh, not capable to do all this kind of work here because sometimes i need to run three virtual machines on my operating system maybe four virtual machine on my operating system because i'm doing some testing with ldap active directories and uh, file servers and there are many other things which i do and usually you see in my channel right so that's why i need to upgrade my laptop and uh, this is like uh, the last year for this laptop and after that i'm going to purchase the sixth generation of this laptop which is hp zbook uh, g6 i already ordered that laptop and i will receive in about one month because that is actually i configure that laptop and it's basically the same same amount of bulkiness that you can see in that laptop because it's also 3.2 kilograms weight and the processor will be xeon uh, and uh, ram 64 gb ecc ram uh, graphic card will be 5000 rtx 5000 and uh, yeah i mean that will be really really fun to uh, work on that that kind of machine i'm really uh, waiting for that laptop once it will be there i will create full unboxing unboxing of uh, that uh, laptop uh, meanwhile like, this is really very good laptop if you if you really want to do uh, like heavy work and uh, then you can seriously take this laptop another thing is let's say if you are a 3d artist you need to constantly update your demo reel because uh i mean some some work that you are doing in your production studio that you cannot share outside the world so for that you need to do some practice at your home and then you at your home also you should have some decent machine where you can actually do some of your own uh, r and uh, and uh, you can create some demo reel for your personal work so that's why it should be there okay now let's talk about the pricing of this laptop I purchased this laptop around uh, 2,15,000 in 2011 and uh, now uh, the new laptop which I'm going to purchase that will be cost me around 3 lakh, uh, I don't 3 lakh 28,000 something okay so uh, this is really very very huge investment so if you want to go with that because in the same amount of money you can actually buy a you know fantastic desktop work, uh, level computer but in desktop computer the only thing which you will miss is the portability which you cannot take from one place to another place these mobile workstation are actually pr uh, providing you the same amount of performance and also the great portability so you can actually take your laptop anywhere with you even i go and attend many conferences with my laptop and i give presentation in my laptop so it's very handy for me so i can just directly open my laptop because all the softwares and all the files are already there i just need to give pre presentation right so that's that's actually quite good i compare with many other laptops also like uh, lenovo and uh, dell and uh, i feel like the hp is quite good because one thing uh, in hp uh, the elite book which i'm using right now in this laptop i took uh, five years of warranty and in five years of warranty actually it's covered in many different countries also so i brought this in australia and uh, i changed the adapter because after a few months there was some uh, some issue in the ad adapter so uh, they replaced for free and uh, next uh, when i was in india actually accidentally i broken the screen of uh, my laptop which is i i i, I broken this part and then they replaced the screen for me and then uh, i changed the 
graphic card of this laptop i changed the keyboard for this laptop i changed in malaysia i again changed the adapter and everything actually hp provide me next day so it's actually come with next business day uh, on site warranty so that means if you have some issue you can just create a ticket and next day uh, hp will call you and as soon as possible they will provide you the support at your home so you no need to go to a service center and uh, put your laptop there and then they will investigate and give you the i mean whatever they will give you after that they maybe they can they can replace something or you need to leave your laptop there for two three days but in hp case i never see this because i'm i'm personally using that and i'm pretty happy with the service which hp provided me next thing is i compare with apple macbook pro apple macbook pro no doubt it's very very portable and the screen is very good and but the, the the kind of work which i'm doing is not fit well inside my workflow so that's why i i pick hp and i'm pretty happy with hp so in future also i will stick with hp and uh, let me know which laptop you want and uh, which you are going to buy and which laptop you are using if you are using a mobile workstation please comment in this video and let me know which workstation you are using if you're planning to buy hp workstation let me know uh, why you are uh, planning to buy and what is your reason to buy this laptop and uh, if you want to know more about this laptop you can just comment me below and uh, i will answer that okay so i hope this video give you some some of the idea about like uh, which laptop you should use and uh, i want to just tell about my experience with hp which is very good i'm I'm pretty happy with HP and uh, my future laptop also will be HP. So that's it for this video. I will see you in my next videos.